Here we are looking at example four from our 3.1 set of notes. We're trying to take the derivative of the natural log of x to the fourth. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a very, very misleading type of problem because parentheses absolutely matter here. We notice that we don't have any parentheses at all. And as a result, uh, when we're looking at the natural log of x to the fourth, this four is actually uh, not considered to be part of like this, this value of the function. And as a result, we can use our power properties with logs and throw this four in front of our natural log. So when we do that, we end up then with trying to take the derivative with respect to x of four times the natural log of x. And even back with our properties with derivatives, we know that if you have the derivative and then that constant times the function, uh, that you can actually take that constant and throw it in front of the derivative. And so then you're really kind of just taking the derivative of the function. And the reason why that works is it kind of goes back to our ideas with properties of limits. So we can go ahead then and throw in uh, this four in front of the derivative. So then we have four times the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x. And we know that from our properties with derivatives of logs and natural logs, uh, that this would just come out to be one over x. So really we have four times one over x. And so ultimately it looks like our final simplified version just comes out to be four divided by x. So again though, that is example four from our 3.1 set of notes.